hi guys welcome back to the channel my name is Brittany J if you are new here thank you so much for coming back thank you so much for viewing my videos taking time out your day and just clicking on the video that means so much to me um, we're gonna take a little break from the haunted I mean the Halloween and fall tour I do have a few videos pre-edited um, and already uploaded I didn't release them because um, I just didn't want to overwhelm y'all with them back to back, back to back, back to back, back to back. Um, so, um, I do have two already that's ready to go. And then I have one more I have to edit. And then I will be throwing out a couple hauls because I think I went to all the stores and it was nothing new. If I see anything new, then I will, you know, make a video and pretty much show y'all. Um, but I did go to my Ikea before we jumped to this haul and there was no fall or Halloween decor out. So that was a bummer. But we're going to get into this Ulta haul because I have some items I grabbed from Ulta. These are items that, um, I wanted to try and I never got my hands on them or I feel like I'm going to go to Ulta and I never made it there. I am a diamond member and I wanted to wait until my nails were done too. Also, like check them out. Nail cam. Okay. Slage. Thank you very much. They match my toes. Period. Okay, so let's start out with Julia's place because I did grab a couple things from them. I did grab the blush um and volume one. Uh, I just thought this will I don't know. I feel like Julia's place have really great items and um, they are, you know, for black women. So, I'm like, let me just try the blush. Because I literally have Charlotte Tilbury's. I have Tarte's. I have Elves. I have everybody else's. I'm like, uh-uh. Let me get some Juvia's. So, that's what I did. I got me some Juvia's. And this is her on the outside. Packaging is Scorch. And then this is the inside. I love these two tones on my skin color anyway because I have like a red undertone to my skin so I really love these two colors they are really good um they look really good on me so yeah I thought those would be really good and I'm more excited to play in the makeup too been out for a while so I'm pretty sure you guys know let me number two I just really like the shades this one and I'm like oh that'd be really pretty on the face so especially when you do going like a natural look so that'll be really pretty i thought it'd be really nice to you know try out it, i think it was other i know it was other colors but they just didn't grab my eyes so yeah that's why i grabbed these colors nice neutral shades nothing too over the top or nothing like that so yeah staying on juvia's place i did grab the coffee shop palette um and i just really wanted this palette i just thought it was so gorgeous they came out with a a nubian palette okay anyways this camera won't sit still but then this is the coffee shop palette for people who have not seen it um yeah this is how it looks it's a great neutral palette i love the browns the matte browns in here i love all the matte shades this is really good they have the best transition shades in here and i love the formula of juvia's place um really good for oily skin dry skin it blends like a dream like always like this line black or white black or white you can use do not sleep on juvia's place then i did get a um a bronzer duo too um this is in the shade deep so this is the the um so i picked up juvia's place bronzer in the deep shade the deep duo or whatever deep dark duo and this is the the tones i really do like these a lot and i thought they would be really good on my skin but yeah sorry that i have to do the video in the living room with stuff packed up because we're in the process of moving but yeah but I did grab, I'll put these in backwards. I did grab the Kiss um, Foscara Lash Kit. I do have this on my lashes. Then I grabbed the backup pack of the multi-pack, the Petite Wispies over here. I put it in there backwards. But this was really easy to use and I do recommend it if you want 
some flossies nothing too extra you don't want to go out and get your lash done or something like that lashes done and wait the hour or two laying on the table go get this it's super easy you brush it on your lashes pop them on underneath boom so i recommend that and get some backup ones i'm just saying get some backup ones because they the thin ones is not as full as you want but if you want to match your lashes that'll be perfect okay moving along so i did get me one of my touchland hand sanitizers i love these I love to spray these on my hands or whenever we go out. I got the berry kind. I have the aloe. I have the watermelon. I have the citrus. And what's the other one I have? Um, Lavender. So, yeah. I keep them in all my purses. But I didn't see the berry one before at Alta, so I grabbed it. And then I didn't see the case, so I didn't. I was kind of upset, but whatever. We're not going to dwell on that. But whatever. Okay. And then I did grab me and my sister the Fenty Beauty Hello Thick Mascara. So, I thought that would be really good to try out because, you know, I like to wear my own lashes sometimes. And they are kind of cute and long. Kind of. I look cute with my lashes, you know. So, I thought that would be a... a you know something to try give it a whirl and then i did get hourglass veil the translucent setting powder i got the travel size just to try it out because i never tried it um i was gonna get the big size but i was like don't get the big size because what if you you know have a reaction to it or something just do the travel size and then see how your skin react so i grabbed that i did get grab the morphe brush brow brush or whatever so I thought that was cute. And then, what else is this? Uh -oh. These are so amazing, these NYX fat oils. I say run out and get you some because, chat, I wanna go back and get like all the colors. I'm not gonna, like, I need all the colors. I need all of them, like, I'm obsessed. I put it on my lips and charm. You cannot tell me I'm not slaying. Hello. I did get another blush from ColourPop. This blush is, um, what one is this called? Just Crushing. So I did get this color. I love this berry shade on my skin tone. It's either that one or like a rustic color. It looks really good on me. I did get me a, uh oh. I did get me a Paw Paw Overnight Lip Mask because my lips been going through the ringer ever since I got sick. And I was like, they was like peeling and chappy and stuff. So I was like kind of upset about it. But I mean, I've been trying different methods. I got this one. I got a lip scrub. I got, um, what's the one I got? Uh, Jackman or something like that from Sephora. Um, and I put that on and that helped totally a lot. Like so much. I did get some lip liners from... LA girl I got the a nude one a black one I got two different browns a dark brown and a medium brown and then um I did get like a pinky nude and then these were like 349 so I thought these would be really good to have um and then I grabbed the girl some a black dark brown and a regular brown too because you know they like the line they lips so yeah and then what brought me on this trip anyways was the mac um skin finish starstruck radiant bronzer and i got mine in radiant uh rich rosy so this is the packaging and i was like oh yeah i have been put that in my cart a long time ago but i never stopped at Ulta and got it could have got it a while back but I just love the packaging. So the packaging is beautiful. And I like this shade. I swatched it on the back of my hand and stuff in the store. So I was interested in trying it and I can't wait to see how I look on when I do my makeup and stuff. And I wanted to show you guys because one thing about me, I'll get in the mood of doing my makeup and then I'll sit down and do it. And I'll literally pull everything out this bag and do it and I'll be like, oh my God, I didn't even show this. Um, 
but I was on Instagram and I noticed Matt came out with a studio. No, I was on Alta site scrolling and they showed that Matt came out with a studio fix every day. We're all over face pen. So I got mine in NW25 because I want to use it for under the eye to, um, you know, highlight and stuff. So I, you know, regular packaging. And then it looks like a syringe. Like it's cute. It's cute. It's cute. It's cute. So this is the packaging on it. And it is so freaking cute. Like look at the detail. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So yeah. This is so cute. I just love the packaging. Look at that. That is adorable. And then it got the little stopper at the top. So cute. And then um, you just twist it, twist it and pump it. And that's how it goes. Twist it and pump it. I was at the store figuring this out. I'm like, I'm gonna figure this out. I'll probably go back and get the shade, my skin tone too, um, just because to have it. But I was like, yeah, I like this. I tried it out in the store and it was nice and it had a good consistency. And I was like, treat yourself to max. Yourself. once in the blue i mean they've been coming out with some okay products but i feel like this and that concealer was the two things that caught my eye oh and the brush for this i want the brush and another um color for concealer but other than that that's pretty much it for this haul um and yeah i have a nice long receipt that yeah that's pretty much it yeah that's that's it well i gained some points though so that is a good that's a good thing and on top of that <laughs> i played a joke on this woman that told her my husband gonna beat me when we went to Kohl's because i spent like 500 dollars and it was for the kids it was for the kids but i told her my husband's gonna beat me and she was like she took the receipt back and was like, oh my God, I can hide this for you. I'm like, girl, I'm just kidding. But they be trying to protect women, but we're not gonna play about that no more, okay? Because the domestic violence is very serious. And if you know anyone that is going through domestic violence or yourself is going through someone domestic violence, please reach out to somebody and tell somebody, I am very serious about domestic violence. Myself has been through it before. So please do not suffer alone. Do not not tell your family members and stuff. Because when I told and spoke up about it, it was long gone after I did defend myself. I wasn't like defenseless. But nonetheless, it still happened. Okay? But yeah. That's all. Not to get on a darker note or anything like that, guys. But that's all i wanted to share with you because i'm definitely gonna dig into these goodies and thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe and i will see you next one well, um when i go get my nails done i'm gonna ask marquise can i record him doing my nails um and then i'll give you a nail vlog so thank you so much for watching we'll see you guys next one